Hi everyone, Joe for Jazby's Hobbyland with a full case hobby break. Pick your team, number one, of 2018 Bowman Baseball on Tuesday the 15th. There you go, folks. Alex Carmichael, congrats to him. He won the Angels in our spot random, and there's everybody else. And there you have it. Pop this guy open. Do I need a, I think I may, may need a new blade for this. I'll change blades after this break. A sharp blade is a safe blade, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a series two poster. We'll eventually give those away in some future break. There we go. I was talking off camera about how I wanted to go. We were talking a little bit about the Mariners and their latest troubles. Uh, I was talking about how I want to go up to Seattle. We got we got some we got some uh, collectors that that shop with Jaspies that play with Jaspies up there. So we can make like a Jaspies meetup up in Seattle. Now I know Kyle's a Seattle sports fan, pro sports fan, but he lives in Montana. We're gonna see if we can drag him to go go out too. He says he, he's like I'd go. It is closer than California, right? You wouldn't have to deal with all those all those crazy left wing California tree huggers in Seattle. Far less tree huggers. You just have to deal with Seattle tree huggers in Washington. <laughs> now I just want to see a baseball game up there at some point. On the West Coast, it'd be it'd be a lot easier for me to get to someplace on the West Coast than really anywhere else. I can't wait for for my Raiders to get to Vegas, see a game there. Uh, Chris, the star next to your name for the Diamondbacks, you bought the last team in this break. So that's your last spot mojo star. It's just something we like to have fun with and keep track of. So, so we put a little star next to the people who bought the last spot in the break. Usually there's a little extra mojo. Uh, we, like to, we like to joke around and say like 75% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. A little extra magic there. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll, I'll let you know, Kyle, if, if, I, if, I, if I schedule a trip out there. If your girlfriend's from Seattle and has family over there, well, then that makes that'd be a good excuse. Let's slide that over really quick. So this is just box one, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team number one, and we'll post another one after this. So this break does take a bit of time, ladies and gentlemen, so I don't think we'll be ready for our next break until around 7.45 p.m.-ish. So just, just keep that in mind. But we still have, once we hit that time, we still have a, you know at least two and a half, a little bit more hours left to break. So please keep filling up some other breaks. All right, so paper won't go, as you know by now. Ah, the best autograph in the hobby. Andres Jimenez, purple chrome, best auto in the hobby. Jeremy Merle. Gets the purple chrome. 67 out of 250. I mean, you can't top that. I mean, you've got autographs. That's right up there with the best of the best. Excellent penmanship. A lot of thought and care being put into it.
Well, one auto per box. That's your first auto. Yeah, Gold Rush agreeing that that is the best auto he has ever seen. Best autograph ever. I agree. There's Mackenzie Mills to 125. 1 thing I will give about this awful awful obviously we're being sarcastic. 1 thing I, 1 thing I will give to him about this awful awful autograph is that it's consistent. Like every time I've seen it, it's like it's in it's the same shape. You know, it's the same pattern. <laughs> like so there's it's not it's not literally a scribble. There's I will give him that. It's consistent. That's Atomic Justin Williams. So stuff like that will ship. This paper base will not be shipping. Oh, is that not? Oh, it's a London game, the Seahawks Raiders. Oh, boo. Well, just you just wait, you guys. Just wait until the Raiders are settled in London or settled in London, settled in Las Vegas. And uh, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll do a Jaspi meetup in Vegas. Actually, that might be the most realistic Jaspi meetup where we'll have the, uh, the most possible people going. There's Eric Lauer for the Padres, 25 out of 50. That card is gold. See, right? It's, and it's relatively, I feel like most from most major metropolitan areas or from your local airport, it's got to be relatively easy to get to Vegas. Well, uh, I don't know how we would do that. We would try. I guess we would try to buy out a block of seats. I suppose. Get yeah, like maybe I don't know how many people would go. Ten, twenty, ten people maybe. I guess depending on who they're playing. Jaspi Fest. We'll organize a Jaspi Fest. You can buy buy tickets. Maybe uh, maybe we'll work with a uh, a travel agent or something like that. Get like some sort of package together for Jaspi Fest. Get out get a block of rooms at like Mandalay Bay or something like that, which is right near the right near the stadium. South Point might be a little bit cheaper. Yeah, I mean it's just like a quick weekend thing, Jaspi Fest, and then we'll have, we'll have like a we'll have like a Q and A with the team members at Jaspies. We'll pretend it like we'll pretend it's like a big conference. Nice Ronald Acuna, Bowman Sterling insert and Atomic out of one fifty. Jeremy Merle and the Braves. Yeah, there'll, there'll be a pretty exciting Q and A. Basically, it'll just be either me or the boss man, <laughs> Nick Jaspi. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe Bossman could get one of his old friends from Tops, or uh, or Beckett to come out, give us a little talk, some sort of Jaspi conference. I don't know. You get Jaspi's Hobbyland tea, little gift bags. Jaspi's Hobbyland T-shirts, some wooden train whistles for the kids, keychains. <laughs> what other what other BS do you get at like conferences? Keychains, custom like pens. A stress ball. <laughs> All right, box two. Good luck, everybody. Box two. Watching the uh, watching the Cavs Celtics game. <laughs> Jeremy Terrell says says he wants bottle openers. Jaspi's bottle openers as swag. That's that's some good uh, trade show swag. Good old trade show swag. How many guys do trade shows? You go go around and display your whatever. Maybe some of you guys are salespeople. You guys are selling whatever you're selling. 
go to the trade show, get all the come back home with a bunch of stuff. Those trade show swag ends up being great gifts for like for like uh for like kids nieces nephews sons daughter like younger sons and daughters they, they'll think that's the coolest thing i was like look at all this random stuff you got here's a stress ball that's cool at the national one year i forget who it was but he, that guy was great he uh I totally shot him out if I remembered what his name was because he had he was just like the solo breaker he seemed like a nice dude you know uh, he was just he was just a solo operation I think he just did it out of his house or something like that but he had a pretty good setup and he went to the national got himself a booth it was just him it wasn't like a big team of with him or anything like that but he had three huge cardboard boxes filled with um, spongy baseballs, basketballs, and uh, and little football shaped things with like his his website on it. Oh man, that was that was the greatest thing ever. Nick and I would always wander over there, and we'd be like, "Hey, so," <laughs> and he totally knew that we were just back to because we lost like those spongy balls because we were throwing them around the national. And we he'd be like, and we'd be like, "Oh, hey, how's it going, man? Like, what's uh, oh, can I grab?" some more of these he's like yeah go for it man there's thousands in here like my wife doesn't want me to bring these back <laughs> they'll fill up the garage but i was just like oh man nick we got to do that one here like little jaspie's hobbyland like spongy stress ball things in the shape of a baseball or something like that 142 out of 499 kyle cody for the rangers that'll be for wade jacobson Ooh, bobblehead, beanie baby, maybe. Paul Hutchings is yeah, I, I like that. I like the sound of that. Tice was saying that he could get he could get his work. BNSF to uh, to pay for some train whistles. I'll take some sponsors. I don't know. One of these days. I don't think we really have. It's not a huge priority for us yet. But one of these days we'll. We'll be we'll be bugging you guys for some sort of demographics, and then we'll sell that. We'll, we'll like we'll try to use that to get advertising, <laughs> and then we'll just be like, "This break brought to you by Progressive. This break brought to you. This box brought to you by. Hey, it's like, hey, we're halfway through the break. This uh this halfway halftime show brought to you by by Capital One. Capital One, what's in your wallet? All right, now on to the uh, now on to the progressive <laughs> progressive Bowman baseball box. Thanks everybody for listening. This break brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. There's your Mitch Keller, one thirty one out of one fifty. Your Subway Eat Fresh, Mitch Keller. Out of 150, going to the Pirates. That'll go to David Shaw. Uh, you know what? We have some T-shirts. We've given away some of those T-shirts before, but we don't actually sell any merch. We'd rather have you guys spend, <laughs> spend on group breaks. And we'll, uh, you know, and we'd rather just use any merch that we have for like promos and stuff. At the national, we give we give away we give away tons of T-shirts. Autograph. Ooh, nice. Atomic refractor autograph for the Yankees. Matt Whiskey Sour going to the Bronx Bombers. Adam Kupperman with the Yankees.
Those are out of 100. Keeping it 100. This year's national is in Cleveland. There's Steven Duger out of 125, old Cleveland. Mere, mere, uh, mere, mere miles away from, away from where, where I was born, and it was a uh, yeah late July, early August, I think. It's like a week long. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know off the top of my head. But if you look up the website, you can just look up National Sports Collector Convention or something like that. You should be able to find it on the Google machine. Optic Random Team, basketball's filled up, nice. So that should happen in about an hour. <laughs> So we still, have a, we still have a ways to go in this one. Let me just look at that really quick. I can add it to the schedule right quick. Oh, yeah, it is filled up. Nice. Thanks, everybody. Here is the, there's the latest schedule right there. So right now we're obviously doing this Bowman Baseball, which we're just a few boxes into right now. We still have a good ways to go, but around 7.40, so if you want to schedule out your night, if you, I mean, you don't, if you're not in this break, this probably won't be that entertaining for you. If you're in this break, I think there'll be a lot to look forward to. So keep watching. If you're not in this break, I get it. I get it, but you want to try to plan out your Tuesday evening, and if you're in that basketball, you need something to you got to run around, run a quick errand or whatever. 7:45 ish is when we'll start basketball, and after that, uh, around 8:20 ish Pacific will be uh, when we'll be ready for another break. Got an Otani paper already. All right. That Evan has school tomorrow, so you'll be on until 11 Central, in case everybody was wondering how long Evan was going to be on. So I'll be on until 11 o'clock Pacific. Evan Newman on until 11 Central. Mark your calendars. Update your schedule right now. I should be there, PJ the Wonder Cat. I haven't heard otherwise. No one said we're not going to the National, and we've gone for like the last three years, so... I've been to Cle I have not been to Cleveland in ages. Since I was a wee lad. So it'll be like it'll it'll pretty much just it'll be just like LeBron going back home. That that's how that's how I that's how well I'll be received in in, in Northeast Ohio when I return. I was only there for like, my, my parents moved to California when I was like a couple years old. So I don't know if I have that much of a claim to that area, but more than most, I would, I guess. All right. Next box, good luck everybody. Quick swig of coffee here. All right. Michael says, should come to Minneapolis. You know what? I, I think the National in Minneapolis would be really great. I feel like we have a lot of customers from that sort of region. The Minnesota, a lot, a lot of people who are collecting who buy into our breaks are from that area. So I think like hobby is still strong in that area, so it shouldn't be there. But the national always seems to rotate around 
um, like a, uh, Chicago, Cleveland, and sometimes Atlantic City. I've been at the Minneapolis airport, me personally. There's a great little uh, shop there with a big wooden bear in front of it, wood carving of a bear in front of it. I thought that was pretty cool. I do want to see Target Field. I heard that's really nice. And I want to go uh, walk on the skywalks, which I think is sounds pretty cool in my head. I imagine to be cool. Maybe everybody in, in Minneapolis in the city are just like whatever, but to me, skywalks sound awesome. What did people do before skywalks? Just freeze? Out of 499, Chris Bryant. There's Taylor Ward, 250 purple chrome. LeBron, where are you going? LeBron, where are you? Where, where's LeBron going? What's he doing? Taylor Ward for the Angels and that Otani going to Alex Carmichael and the paper out of 499 goes to the Cubbies. That'll be for EA. And Tyler Maley, that's nice, out of 499. Refractor autograph, rookie refractor autograph for the Red Legs, Jeremy Merle with the Reds. That's a nice one. Concussion protocol? Are they making him go out? Hmm. Ron James, you got you got to get you got to get your triple double, my friend. Um, Gold Rush, wondering why? How come no one breaks magic cards or stuff like that? I know someone who does Pokemon breaks. I don't know. I don't know enough about magic cards to know how. What would like a good effective way to break? it would be. Are there checklists where you can actually like fairly create some sort of random team break? I'm assuming there is. Maybe there's not. I don't know. I mean, Pokemon, I suppose you could do by, by type. But again, unless there's like a checklist, it'll be difficult to say like, what if there's far more electric type Pokemon than a water type Pokemon? Then how do you have to create the random teams correctly? There's a, little, there's a bit of a challenge there. And then to do all that work, how much of a market is there for people who want to group break Pokemon cards unless you have a set that you know you have like autographs or like hits or something like that, which doesn't necessarily happen in those kind of sets. I guess there are certain short prints, but I guess a lack of a traditional hit, like a relic or an autograph, is also the issue. So it doesn't lend itself well to group breaking. And I think people who are serious about that, I feel like... I feel like we just buy their own packs, you know what I mean, or buy their own boxes and stuff. They'll just be like, we'll just buy it ourselves. There's, there's no real specific big chase that we have to make for a relic or an autograph like we do here. But if they ever do that, it'd be worth it. I mean, Magic the Gathering cards, uh, I mean, there are far more people who buy that just across the country and around the world, you know. The company, was it Wizards of the Coast, I think, who own that brand now? I think they, they make just boatloads of money doing that. You know, the, the same the same factories that, that print these cards. There was one year, I remember, where, like, I think it was, like, Playbook Football or something like that. <laughs> Panini Playbook Football was pushed back, like, two or three weeks because they were busy finishing up Magic cards. They are like, you're just going to have to wait. <laughs> like, so sports cards, like, pale like money-wise, pale in comparison to what Magic can deliver. You know what I mean? 
So, um, did I hear Portland might be the next city for the NBA? I did not. That would be good. I feel like there's a natural rivalry that could be built between Portland and, and Seattle. Why won't you guys do the Walking Dead box breaks? <laughs> right, John G. Exactly. Nice. Um, uh, do, do they have like hits in them? I don't know. We had a we had a case at one point. I don't know what we did with that. I think I think we sold it in store, maybe, or maybe we sold it back to our distributor, or something like that. I don't know why we even had that in the first place. Did we or did we not? Or were we going to get a, a case? I mean, is there new Walking Dead stuff out, Joe P? We w I think we would do, if there was like a higher end set, like a, like that Game of Thrones we have on the site, I think we would do, we would do Walking Dead. But I don't know. It's the same reason why we don't do like Star Wars Series 1. You know what I mean? We have done a couple, but it's just because it's Star Wars, but it's for that for that same reason. If there's a higher end set, like that Game of Thrones we have on the site. I think that would be really cool. Gold Rush, like, hey, want to go into sports cars for all Magic and Pokemon and Magic duels going on? Hey, man, that keeps hobby shops in business, like Magic and Pokemon. You'd be surprised. If, if we ever... If Jackie's Hobbyland ever decided to expand more into the retail, uh, to the retail space, that kind of retail space, I think we would we would probably have to do like like Magic and Pokemon tournaments, or at least host those, or have a space to do that because you know it helps pay the rent. So, yeah, exactly. Joe P's into NASCAR now. Yeah, Evan, Evan, uh, Evan Newman. I thought you'd be a Ryan Newman guy, but I guess not. All right, good luck, everybody. Next box. And Christian Pash. Nice Christian Pash autograph for Jeremy Merle and the Bravos. He's, a, he's another, like, hot prospect coming up the ranks. LeBron James is coming back. Joe P, the Otani count still the same. Just two autographs, two base autographs from that very same case way back when. Have not seen another autograph since. I mean, hey, we still have plenty of boxes to go here. I know, and we've done like since the last time you asked. I think we've probably done of like a few. We've probably done a few cases. I think since the last time you asked, like last sometime last week, maybe around this time last week. So. There's Max Freed out of 25, orange paper for the Braves, Jeremy Merle. You would think we would get like at least one more. I think the best thing we got after that was uh, was a paper parallel of Otani out of 4.99. That I think that still went for like 100 or 200 dollars or something crazy like that. But uh, other than that, that's it. Has the super been pulled? 
Does anyone know about it? Can anyone confirm or deny Joe P's thought? Yeah, we are due. Jason Martin out of 499. That'll go to the Pirates, David Shaw. Kyle Young, 84 out of 125 for the Phillies. That'll be for Carl. So Joe P's been hearing some rumors that was pulled in Dallas. Can anyone confirm or deny that? Has anyone been around on the Facebook groups, the social media? That's pretty cool. Esteban Floriel, number 45 in the Bowman Scouts Top 100. Top right corner, 108 out of 250. 150, check that, for the Yankees. Nice spread. Three plus tools on that guy. That goes to Adam Kupperman and the Yanks, Bronx Bombers. So all this is paper. And there you go. Next box coming up. Do you have any other information, Joe P? Like, like, is it from a from a breaker, from a from a hobby shop, from a retail box? Keyboard over. Watch out, keyboard. All right, next box. Yeah, you're right, John. It would, it would be on like the blowout forums or some, someone would be talking about it. So maybe it's not true. <laughs> yeah, it better not be pulled from a retail box, right? Can you imagine? I mean, there's got to be a one-of-one one version of that, right? Just like a, a paper one-of-one? One. That's got to be in there somewhere, no? Maybe that's been pulled. But the actual Super Refractor autograph, the one-of-one one autograph. Man, that's crazy. What did Blowout up their offer to again? I know they started at $60,000. Oh, God. <laughs> right, John? She, John G's like, yeah, some nine-year-old gets a retail box. Like, oh, look at this shiny one. Oh, so that, that one's already, so the one of one's already been pulled. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I thought that, that one was pulled kind of early too, like when, like within a couple days of this being released. I mean, there's still plenty of Otanis that have tons of value, so like, but yeah, I mean, the one of one is what everyone, what has everyone be talking, but... Hey, base autograph I think will still get still get you a couple thousand dollars, right? They blow it up their offer too. It's crazy. Yeah. Hey, for for me on the hobby business side of things, I'm glad. I'm glad that Otani's doing well. I'm glad that Otani, you know, like, there was a lot of, like, negative hype, you know, a lot of negativity, because he had a bad spring training, let's let's be honest here, he had a bad spring training. Um, so there was the hype, everyone was down on Otani, everyone was cautiously optimistic after week one, but now that the season's kind of settled in, it's like a month and a half, you know, I, th I think... I think he's been he's been playing very good baseball, so I think that that helps the hobby a, bit, a, a great deal. Any guesses on the redemption? Is it this guy? 
I know in Tribute he's a redemption. I don't think he's... His autos are usually live, right? O Otani? Daniel Murphy, maybe? He doesn't sign cards. So what did you get? So Joe P was super lucky enough to get a... Out of a... Was it a jumbo, Joe? Out of a jumbo, he got an Otani gold autograph out of 50. Um, and he said he just recently sold it for $6,200. Payment confirmed, Joe P? I know a lot of people were, were, were saying, oh, yeah, I feel like a lot of those Otani autographs, like the big high-end Otani autographs, are um, are not are being relisted. You know, like the low numbered ones that go for a lot, a ton of money are being relisted. And so there's some concerns that, you know, that payment is not coming quickly on those on those things. Payment received. Ah, nice, Joe P. Congrats. Out of 499, Blake Rutherford. That's cool. No, congrats, dude. That's awesome. There's Blake Rutherford for the White Sox Jr. with that one. Forrest Whitley for the Astros. So John G is said, what, what, what does everyone else think? John G is saying... Joe P probably should have waited until the All-Star break, maybe, that price of his gold refractor in my glove. Joe P saying, no way. He disagrees. He's, a, he's like, I, I'm, I'm thinking that that was probably as good as it's going to get price-wise. What is, what is everyone, what's everyone else's two cents on that? There's Whit Merrifield. Cool Whit. Out of 4.99. So Joe P's reasoning is same one sold for ten thousand. You contact the seller and he said that people backed out. I see. So Joe P's feeling good about the sixty two hundred. You know what that Joe P now I know I know this is your money, you know, and from one man to another, far be it for me to tell another man how to spend spend their money, right? Uh but that's that sounds like a nice little vacation for you and the little one. Wife, wifey. In, uh, and the daughter, maybe Disneyland, maybe Jaspie's Hobbyland. Two lands that you could visit in Southern California with a little bit of that money. rest of it could go to her college, but college fund or your hobby fund so you don't dip into the college fund. Sounds like a little trip there. Oh, yeah, Rory, we got it. The hugest hit of all, Rory. Bam. Andres Jimenez. Oh, that's right. Yeah, is that trip still on? Nice, folks. You'll get, you'll get to see Joe P's face about a month or so. Mitch Keller to two fifty, purple. All right, next one. Paul DeYoung saying this, this, what takes a week to break? This break? False. Takes an hour and a half. <laughs> takes an hour and a half to break, not a week. God, no. All right, so behind Rowdy Reed is you are due to receive a Chrome Prospect autograph of... Oh, there's another paper in the back, DJ Stewart, of... Oh, it's probably Luis, Luis Robert. Nice. This is a this is a great hit too. That's for the White Sox. They're all Luis Robert, right? White Sox. That'll go to Junior with the White Sox. Nice. 
Are they are they all Luis Robert? I guess I haven't seen any that are anything else. All right, almost halfway through this break. Sorry about that. Hitting the camera. Oh, some more NASCAR. Let's. Well, actually, I'll ask Nick to see if we can if we can find some more NT NASCAR. Box, ladies and gentlemen. Schedule is in the chat. So Optic Basketball already full, so that's going to be posting, or that will be breaking uh, shortly after this in about another hour or so. Looks like the uh, basketball game at halftime. 55. Cavs leading the Celtics 55 to 48. So it looks like whatever uh, whatever uh, game plan the, the Celtics had for the Cavs, the Cavs are responding. Now, I I've decided I decided earlier in the show we were discussing this just off camera. Earlier in the show. All right, Rory, I'll see you, man. Um, earlier in the show, I, I was saying that that, that I am no longer going to put pennies on 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 teams in the NBA playoffs. Regular season, I did okay. We, we do, for entertainment purposes, we like to discuss a little bit of the, a little bit of the wagering. Even more relevant now after the U.S. Supreme Court decision. decision. Um, but, uh, yeah, just terrible in the playoffs. Just have not, picking sides, I've not been very good at it. But, today I'm trying something different. Just a little, a little more fun. Player propositions, player props. So I'm going with LeBron James triple-double, which I, could get. He's got four rebounds, six assists. I'm going LeBron James over 32 and a half points. I think he's going to get, he better be able to get that. He might get a triple double. It's possible. A little, little short on the rebounds, but, but we'll see. What were what were what were my assist, what are the assist totals again? I need over nine and a half assists. I think he's gonna get that. I need ten over ten rebounds. I'm not sure if he's gonna get seven more rebounds in this game. I don't know. We'll see. If he does, I mean that's pretty much triple doublesville. But if I hit like two or two out of the three of those, I'll be pretty pleased. I also took uh, I also took guest overtime. On this, this this game has the feeling has the makings of overtime, right? I can feel that. Celtics make the second half adjustments, you know. Cavs try to keep them at arm's length. Maybe over. Oh, Walker Bueller, nice. Rookie autograph, Walker Bueller for my Dodgers, my poor poor Dodgers. Although I feel like the Diamondbacks are slumping. I think the Padres aren't very good. <laughs> you know, the Giants aren't very good. The NL West has been pretty bad the last week. This guy's been good, though. Walker B, a lot of injuries on the Dodgers rotation, so I think he's going to be pitching more than the Dodgers hoped he, he would. That's a great hit for Carl. He's been the – Walker Buehler has been the bright spot for the Dodgers this season. Although Justin Turner is back. A nice atomic Quentin Holmes. 
There's A.J. Puck. A.J. Puck would have been able to make it to the big league, I think, this season. He's kind of kind of built like Randy Johnson. He has a big fastball. He's supposed to be really good, but got struck down by Tommy John surgery. So we'll have to see him in another year. There's Colby Allard to 150 for the Bravos. Jeremy Merle with that. Another one for Jeremy out of 250 purple paper, Lucas Sims. Got our autograph. That was Walker Bueller. Got a couple of parallels. Let's see if we can get some other low numbered fun stuff. Andres Jimenez. Otani paper. That paper, particular paper, will ship. Evan White to 150. There's Verdugo. He might get called back up at some point. DJ Peters has been playing well at double A. All right, so we are officially halfway through the break, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a solid break so far. Luis Robert, Walker Bueller. Christian Pash, a couple nice parallels. So let's see what we have in the second half. About another, about another 40 minutes left in this break, another 40, 45 minutes. So we are halfway through halftime, just like the basketball games at halftime. Uh, this will be a good time for me to look at baseball scores, right? Nice, good to see my Dodgers losing to the Marlins, 4-1. Marlins ahead, 4-1. Terrible, terrible. Getting getting four hit by, who are we getting four hit by over eight innings? Harlan Garcia, maybe? No, Wee Chi Chen, I think, outdueling Alex Wood. We Yin Chen, apologies to We Yin Chen. Great job, Dodgers. Um, Yankees and Nationals are tied at three. They are delayed. So are the Phillies and Orioles. And they haven't even started yet. The Yankees, th those guys are already I think, well into... Oh, they're in the middle of the sixth inning. Uh, Phillies and Orioles are delayed. I don't think they've even started. In the middle of the eighth inning, Pirates shutting out the White Sox 7 to nothing. Uh, in the, uh, Tigers with a narrow lead ahead of the Indians 9-8 in the bottom of the seventh. They're in Detroit. In New York City, the Blue Jays ahead of uh, ahead of Syndergaard. And the Mets, Blue Jays with a narrow 2-1 lead. Top of the four, that's only in the fourth inning. Four, uh, top of the fourth, A's ahead of the Red Sox, 3-0. Still early in the game there. Top of the eighth, Cubs... In Atlanta, they're tied at one. Cardinals one nothing, leading one nothing in the bottom of the six over the Twins in Minnesota. Rays at Royals, Rays leading five three, bottom of the sixth. Brewers Diamondbacks just started. Brewers are in Arizona. Padres Rockies were the early game. Padres shutting out the Rockies in San Diego four nothing. One hitting the Rockies. Who one hit the Rockies? Looks like a group one hitter. And uh, Astros Angels later tonight, Mariners, or Rangers at Mariners later tonight, Reds at Giants later tonight. Ooh, uh, oh, nice combined one hitter. Jordan Lyles with a one hitter, and then Yates and Brad Hand not giving up a single hit. Huh. I do need extra starting pitchers for my crappy fantasy baseball team this year. My 
Fantasy baseball team is awful. Michael B saying Twins off to a rough start this season. I feel like, well, I feel like the offense will come around. It's all, it's, I feel like it's the pitching, right? I feel like it's always been the pitching, it's starting pitching. I like Barrios, but he's, he's pretty, still kind of young to lead that rotation. I like the Lance Lynn move, the Odorizzi move, I think created some nice depth, but I don't know if that's quite clicked yet, so. But I like you gotta like the, the the direction the twins are going is a good direction. They're trending in the right direction. Got some young guys there too coming up the ranks. Once you shed that Joe Maurer contract, I don't know when that contract runs still, but work around that contract and then you guys will be alright. Alright, next box. Good luck, boys and girls. I didn't realize until Paul Hutchins mentioned this. I, I knew that he got hit in the wrist on the DL for a little while, but I did not realize there was also a double whammy on Robinson Cano. I didn't realize he was popped for PEDs. Isaac Paredes at a 250. Now, for what did he, what were his comments? Like, because it's always interesting when someone gets popped for PEDs in this day and age. Did he just own it and say, "Yep, I should," you know, like I did it, or did he say, "I took a supplement that I?" Because the common answer now, "Oh, I took a supplement that I thought was okay, but I wasn't paying attention, and whoops, sorry, disappointed in myself, disappointed in the fans, blah 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 blah." That seems to be the code order for for. I just wasn't looking at the label. Nice Kybert Ruiz, one of the hot Dodgers catching prospects coming up the ranks. Should see him about a year or two, I think. Maybe a cup of coffee this year. Was it the second one, Evan says? <laughs> Took a supplement that I that I thought was okay, that I wasn't paying attention to the label. <laughs> That's the classic one. But I don't know, is that I mean, is that true? With the I mean, I suppose you could appeal it. If there's like a legitimate like, oopsie. Oh, blamed on the doctor that gave him the meds from the. Yeah, that's a little harder. That's a little more difficult to appeal, I think. I think if it was just like, yeah, I went to the GNC and picked up a bottle of uh, this, you know, and uh, whoops, I didn't read like the 50 different ingredients on there in like eight point font. I mean, yeah, maybe you could, I could, you could buy that a little bit, but out of 250, Giancarlo Stanton. That goes to the Bronx Bombers. Adam Kupperman, he's starting to heat up. Giancarlo Stan, which has been good. The Yankees seem nay unstoppable. There's Gliber Torres. He's one of the reasons why the Yankees are looking good. Pipeline. Oh, hey, I mean, as yeah, he's he said he didn't look. In, I mean, I, I I feel like that's in this day and age, that's kind of an acceptable answer. You still don't want that to happen, but what are you gonna do? You know, he did it. He's owning it. You gotta wear it, right? You effed up. <laughs> you gotta wear it. That's the risk. That's the risk he took. What's his noise about the Yankees interest in Bryce Harper? Because they're the Yankees. You know, they're interested in everybody. I don't know, do the Yankees, I mean, it's a difference between the Yankees actually stating they're interested in Bryce Harper and then journalists or talk radio, talk uh, sports talk radio guys, you know, suggesting there may be interest. Is the sources say, classic sources say that sources close to the team? Sources with knowledge of the situation, that's that's a little bit different. Representatives of Bryce Harper suggest. Alex Lange, 
out of 499 for the Cubbies. Depends on the source, I suppose. Word is he has an offer? You know, here's the scary thing is that is that once like once the Yankees shed themselves of the of the Ellsbury contract, you know, and they shed some old veterans, they actually have a lot of play, payroll flexibility. <laughs> I'm just scared to think about. There's Kyber Ruiz. That was your autograph here. A couple Dodgers in a row for Carl. That's the crazy part. I don't know, how much do you think, what do you think, guys? What, what does Bryce Harper get, guys and girls? 10 years? He's got to get 10, right? Maybe maybe there's like some opt-outs, but let's ignore the opt-outs for a second. But it's, it's got to be 10 years. 35 million a year? 37 million a year? Does it hit 40 million a year? Oh, so you're hearing word, Jason G, saying you're hearing word that it's 34 over over two. That's that. So for like for like 68 total, right? Is what you're saying? 34 a year over two years. A little short two-year contract for Bryce Harper, and he hits free agency again. Could be interesting. How many home runs would he hit at the Yankee Stadium? Probably a lot. Harper, it's a tough one. I don't know if the Do I don't know if my Dodgers would be in on Bryce Harper. I think a lot of Dodgers fans, Dodgers fans, you should. If you guys lived here here in LA, listening to sport, local sports talk radio, Do Dodgers fans are like melting down all over the place. Like uh, I, I know a lot. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys listen to like your 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 local baseball teams like post game show on the radio or something like that. Everyone, everyone has that. And the, the, the guys, the, the 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 fans that are calling in, everyone's all panicky, freaking out. Fire Dave Roberts, trade everybody. You know, like, I don't know if it's as it's easy as that. I don't think just replacing all the players is just going to suddenly turn around and <laughs> make a difference. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. We're getting there to the end, folks. We're getting there. Oh, our autograph is out already. Sandro Fabian. Sandro Fabian going to Brian. There you go. Brian Callier. I think he was having issues with uh, with his uh, his video stream or the chat or someone let him know in the chat that he got a giant autograph. Sandro Fabian. Base auto. The Todd father in the house as well. Sup, Todd? Ooh, some nice orange coming up. That orange is going to 21 out of 25, Cornelius Randolph. Nice orange chrome for the Phillies. That'll be for Carl and the Phillies. Nice. Oh, I'm on the big screen tonight? Good. I'm glad I... Dressed up nice. I'm having a decent hair day today. 
<laughs> on the on the Reardon family big screen. Presentable today, Todd. Somewhat. There's Otani. Brendan McKay, that could be another future two-way player like Otani for the Rays. Uh, thank you, Todd. It's, ni it's nice and clean. The, uh, the hair and makeup team did a great job before I went on air today. <laughs> Can you imagine if we had a hair and makeup team here? Nick Senzel at 150. All right. So we've got the, uh, obviously we're doing a baseball break. This is kind of a long break, so we end up talking about other stuff too, other sports as well. Oh, another orange? Nice box. Alec Hansen. 52 or 15 out of 25. Another orange chrome. Bowman scouts this time for the White Sox. Junior with the White Sox. Oh, yeah. Is she, is she good with the hair, hair and makeup, Todd? LA, LA, a lot, a lot of hair and makeup opportunities in LA. Joey Votto, Votomatic to 150 for the Red Legs. Oh, nice. Is that what she's going to get into? That's pretty cool. Got a friend out here in LA. She does. Uh, she started her own business actually. There's MJ Melendez, a atomic. All trussed up is what it is. Like a. Is it a blowout bar? I think. I don't know. Wacky things Californians love to do out here. Todd. They'll pay for it. Nice. It's an orange box. Got an orange team. Got a couple orange parallels. So Sean B saying Tristan Thompson, Marcus Morris going at it. All right, all right. Show some. Li I like that show of life. There. I think Tristan Thompson was a good addition to the basketball game. We're watching the Celtics, uh, the Cavs Celtics game, game two of the Eastern Conference Final. I think including a little more Tristan Thompson could add a different look to the Cavs. I, I like that it's close too, Sean B. I put a couple pennies on overtime, yes. Plus 1,200 on that. So you just have to put a very tiny amount of pennies to get a lot at plus 1,200. I'll take that. I've got... What else do I have again? I got some LeBron James wagers going on too. I've got LeBron James triple double, which is actually still on the table. That could be interesting. I got LeBron over 32 and a half. I'm gonna get that. I just need one more bucket from him from that. LeBron assists over nine and a half. I think I'll get that. He's got to get at least two more assists, right? He's at eight now. The rebounds, I'm a little far away on the rebounds. Over 10. I took over 10 on the rebounds. He's got five now. Not sure if he's going to get five more rebounds.
between now and the end of the game. Possible, but I think his I think his is going to be uh, his role from from here on out is going to score points or assists. Yeah, whatever. If I get two out of the three of those, I'll be I'll be okay. Are we accepting Bitcoin anytime soon? No, we are not. Unless, uh, well, we use we use uh, PayPal as our merchant account, so we use their like business service. Like it's like PayPal on steroids. If we um, if they start accepting it, then obviously we will start accepting it. But I don't know if they have any plans to do that anytime soon with their merchant services. Good luck, everyone. Next box. Another redemption. Any guesses on this redemption? Which will set right there. Another Luis Robert, maybe? That'll make Junia very happy. She'll be happy about that. Paper. That's the chrome right there. Robert going Daniel Murphy on the redemption. I think he is a redemption, isn't he? There's Wander Javier at a 150. Blue Shimmer. Jason's wondering if anybody's worried about interest rates on this channel. I think we come here to get away from talk about interest rates. Well, I'll let the other guys talk about that. It sounds far, far too grown up for this channel. <laughs> That's grown up stuff. Here we're acting like kids and collecting baseball cards. Like this orange Kyle Young. 11925, orange paper for the Phillies for Carl. There you go, Carl. Joe Adele, nice Joe Adele out of 499. <laughs> Sean B's like, I do refinances daily. I'll be damned if I talk about it on here. This is where we get away from it all. A Bowman baseball break, which is long enough already, plus interest rate talk, that might that might definitely like lose the entire audience. It's already a challenge trying to get people to, to stick around for this entire Bowman baseball break. You know they say that um yeah, it would. Yeah, this break is already hard enough to stay awake for. Sean B's like, I, I, I might, I might fall asleep. Interest rates not that interesting. Right? Yeah, the audience is falling asleep already.
uh, they say on um, the numbers show, at least in at, le- at least in sports talk radio, the numbers show that hockey hockey is the subject that'll get people to turn off turn off a channel like almost immediately, which is kind of crazy. Uh, you are due to receive a chroma a chroma. A Bowman Chrome Prospect Autograph. Chroman, okay, we'll go with Chroman. Oh, refractor parallel of... That's another Luis Robert. It's an L. We know that already. Nice, another one for Junior and the White Sox. That's actually... This has been a big a big parallel that's been, that's been getting a lot of dollar bills in the secondary market. All right, three boxes to go. Almost there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, man. The Prism football breaks. Yeah, that's two big hits for the White Sox. Those 12-box Prism football breaks, that did take forever. Those weren't that bad. I feel like this isn't that bad either. Mostly because there's a lot of parallels to kind of... To kind of... Uh, you know, kind of, kind of be there, but I did not read. I don't think I know who Lucas Glover is. Jason G asking anyone to read about Lucas Glover's wife today. Prism Zoke. I'm trying to think what a. a A rough break, I think, is is classics football. Although last year's was okay. Two years ago, classics football was 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 brutal. I think they had just released it, and there was just a lot of. But I think last year was okay. This year, hopefully, will be better. I think it's coming out in a couple of weeks. What's the next big golf tournament? I feel like I feel like we should try to. Get, we're trying to get some. Uh, Trying to see if we can get some golf. He and his wife are. And then his mom gone. Was was this on Sunday? Was this on Mother's Day? His wife. He, he and his wife were arguing. Then his mom got involved. Then his wife got into a physical altercation with his mom. Dang. Wow. Was this at the at the golf course? Oh, U.S. Open Father's Day weekend. Okay, so that's the next big one. All right, all right. So we got we got World Cup. We got golf. So there we go. So I'm sure we'll put some pennies. Put some pennies on the golf. Lucas told cops she always yells at me when I miss the cut. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you need that kind of motivation. Oh, golf's not that boring. Robert Rohrer, Sunday golf is boring. It's pretty relaxing. It's a good hangover remedy, watching golf. And those soothing soothing golf announcer voices. And here we got Lucas Glover on the ninth. Got Brian Mata, Red Sox coming up, and a Joey Wentz autograph. Nice. That goes to the Atlanta Braves, Jeremy Merle, and now to the fifteenth. Hey guys, I'm here on the fifteenth. But I'm pretty sure those announcers are nowhere near. I think that's what I love about it. I don't think they're anywhere near the actual golfers, right? So there's no reason for them to be, like, quiet. Right? They're not walking around with the with the rest of the crowd, right? They're like in a they're in a broadcasting booth, like near the leaderboard or something like that. So they can they don't have to be that quiet.
Now, what about a Bowman baseball break? And if Joe does it in, in golf broadcaster voice, like how long do you think it would take before people fall asleep? Box one, box two, something like that? Nine out of 25, orange shimmer, Mitchell White. We're gonna seeing a lot of orange in this case, that's nice. Nice jaspy orange there going to the Dodge. Another one for Carl. Uh, yeah, uh, Tier 1 is released tomorrow. I have not heard from Nick on when he intends to post that. Uh, I'm assuming later tonight or at the, at the latest before I go on air tomorrow. But as far as I know, that's still on schedule. It hasn't been pushed back or anything. Those are some nice breaks. You'll take them all, Jason. You are great. That sounds good. As soon as, as soon as they're posted, keep hit, hammering that refresh button on jazbeeshobbyland.com. As soon as they appear, feel free to take them all. Kyle Cody out of four ninety nine. Got to catch them all, like Pokemon. Uh, Kyle Cody going to the Rangers. That'll be a refractor for Wade. The rest of this is paper, some chrome. So all the chrome will ship, obviously. Paper won't ship. So yeah, we're just a couple boxes away. Gold Rush looking towards the next break. Um, yeah, 12 left in Majestic 9. So right now we're finishing off that Bowman Baseball. Optic Basketball will happen after this, and that's only a 20-minute break. Much shorter than this one. And then soon after that, we'll be ready for the next one. There's Sam Hilliard, purple paper to 250. Nice Reese Hoskins, Bowman Sterling insert. Two boxes to go. Man, we're, we're there already. Kind of on schedule. So after we do this, um, like I said, we'll do optic basketball. It's only a four box break of optic basketball, which will take about 20, 25 minutes. And then I'll probably take a quick break after this. Then we'll do the optic basketball. Then after that, we'll have uh, about a little over two and a half hours left in the broadcast, which should be plenty of time for Majestic. Majestic doesn't take very long. We can squeeze that in, both breaks even. We might be a little too late for the, by then that might be a little too late for uh, Diamond King's um, for Diamond Kings uh, baseball, but I'm sure we can knock that out tomorrow. We can finish off the Donruss Optic basketball case. We can definitely squeeze that in. And we've got under wraps, actually that Fanatics Authentic break, the autograph baseballs, that's in single digits. We should be able to finish that off tonight too. So be sure to check that out. Um, I don't. You know what? I did, actually did not put any action, TJ, on the on the Marlins for win totals. I know I took the over on Dodgers win total. I think by my projections, the Dodgers are not going to get close. <laughs> I can't believe Dodgers lost to the Marlins. All right. Uh, yeah, Joe. First time ever, right? Franchise history. Suns with the number one pick. What do you think you guys are going to get? You guys got that new coach? 
Maybe that international player will be will be on tap for you guys. Michael Beto asking, well, who do you think will win the Super Bowl first, the Cowboys or the Bills? That's a very good. That's a good question, actually. Probably. I mean, I think the easy answer is the Cowboys, right? But see, the Cowboys they have to battle. They have to battle the Eagles. You know, in, the, in that NFC East, that's not, that's not easy. Eagles are pretty. Well, Cowboys have a great defense. But you could argue that that with Carson Wentz, the Eagles' offense is a little bit better. That that's going to be a dogfight there. You know, if, if the Giants are healthy, that's a brutal division there. Now, the Bills have a slightly easier path because all they have to contend with is the Patriots, right? Yeah, NFC East is tough. But I almost want to say Bills because they have a better chance of backing into, kind of like last year, kind of backing into the playoffs. And then, you know, and then obviously any given Sunday, right? Anything They could go on a, they could have, they could go on a good run. And, you know, they're, Defense could get really hot, shut down some teams. You know, they could, they could get there. So, So I, I, I almost want to lean. I almost want to lean. Uh, almost want to lean Bills. As crazy as that might sound, I, I, I think the Cowboys clear, clearly have the better team constructed and constructing. But I, I mean, you got to think that the Bills have a slightly easier path. Right, and and meanwhile, in the in the fourth quarter, the Celtics are ahead by. They're ahead eighty-eight seventy-seven. That's crazy. Ahead by eleven. There's Shed Long, Orange Shimmer autograph for the Reds. Jeremy Merle with the red legs. Twenty-two out of twenty-five. I just need LeBron to score one more point. Can can you do that, LeBron? Sure, let's go one more point in eleven minutes. To get my over thirty-two and a half. Nice Hunter Green refractor. I was like, that's something. Hunter Green refractor. The Reds hitting nicely here. That's a big prospect right there for the Reds. Oh, this one's numbered as well. There's Michael Conforto, 79 out of 150. Bowman birthdays. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Stevie Wonder. Kai Boom, Carter Kai Boom. Matt Tice out of one twenty five. For the Angels, Alex Carmichael. Yeah, John G is saying it would be cool to see Boston going to the finals. Is that LeBron on the bench? Come on. I need him to score one more point to get my over on, on, on LeBron points. All 
Um, the thing with Boston, though, they have to prove that they can win on the road. You know, I think I think they have a stellar home record, but they're they're they've struggled on the road against against Miami and even even against Philadelphia to a certain extent. They're not Milwaukee, I think earlier, not Miami, Milwaukee. So they've got a if they can shore that up. I mean, then yeah, then they could be it could be a pretty pretty scary team that seems to have just figured it out and are just really clicking. I think the Bears will have a greater than 500 winning percentage. Uh, what are the Bears? I have this, these numbers set aside here. What are the Bears' win total? Bears' win total is 6.5. I think they'll go over 6.5 by a game. I think that's, that's a really good line. I think 7. So just under. That's got to be a tough division, right? Healthy Aaron Rodgers. They're going to be They're going to look better, though. Is there a chance that Kawhi could go to Cleveland? I don't think Miami, even with LeBron, Dragic, and Whiteside, could be with Boston. Um, I don't think Kawhi's still under contract, so I don't know if Cleveland has the pieces that the Spurs would actually want. That's the problem with Kawhi. It's just hard to be like someone just grabbed Kawhi Leonard because it's got to be a trade. Last box, folks. Todd Reardon, Bears fan, saying Rodgers will get hit once, or get hit once really hard, and then will be out again. He's getting weak. He's getting Rodgers just getting old, huh? Not enough avocado ice cream for Aaron Rodgers. Not enough. Not enough TV twelve. Too much. Too much Olivia Munn and Danica Patrick. Possible. Not enough TV twelve diet. I think the same with Miami too, Andrew K. Uh, I I think that uh, I think that Miami. Uh, it's okay, Joe. Joe P's a little behind, but he he thinks he's he wants Aiden as that for that number one Suns pick. Um, I don't think uh, I don't think that Miami could. Yeah, but see, I don't think Miami could get Kawhi either. What pieces does Miami have to send to to the Spurs? You know. Unless Kawhi Leonard is just that much of a headache, that relationship just simply cannot be repaired. You think LeBron knows that he his, his over on Bovada is thirty two and a half? Did he take the under and now he's just going to sit there? Game's kind of close. LeBron's got to go back in soon, right? It's not that far away. There's nine minutes left. They're about ten points behind. Nine points behind. Nice. There it is. Okay, I, I saw him in like warm up for a second. That got got me nervous. No, this game is still close. I still have I still have OT. Yes, on OT, plus twelve hundred. One penny, I, half a penny on that. It'll get me sixty cents back. I think. <laughs> Clint Frazier. What's the what's the possibility of LeBron James triple double? I got the over on his points. I got the over on assists. I need three more rebounds from him. Four more rebounds to get the over on the rebounds, but three more rebounds to hit the triple double. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. 
Parker Bridwell and Otani, a couple of the guys on the Angels pitching staff. Oh, he's got eight rebounds now. I have the box score up. All right, so that goes to Alex Carmichael and the Angels. Oh, he had that hit that Otani right there, Joe P. Paper Otani. Out of 150, Jose Adales Garcia. If I hit an Otani autograph, you know it would be sitting like right here, being displayed right there. I've not seen the auto the last autograph of this break yet, but we are on the last box, ladies and gentlemen. There'll be another pick your team available on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so keep an eye out for that if you missed out on your teams the first time. Uh, I, I know this is a long break, but I enjoy it. Just because it's time for us to hang out and just chit chat about random stuff. Um, and there's still amazing value in here. Otani and so there's so much prospect hunting in here that it's kind of a grind, but it's actually not that bad, especially considering the returns that you can get. Like those Luis Robert redemptions, like people are just like, okay, who, like most casual baseball fans, who's Luis Robert? But that, that's going, that redemption, I think, is going for a few hundred dollars on the bay. Maybe, maybe even more for some of the parallels. There's Jake Hallish out of 25. So Bowman baseball, really for, for baseball collectors, baseball hobbyists, this is like the, this is the big one here. Yeah, Robert saying well over well over two hundred. And practical joker saying, give me every card, LOL. Give me money. And I will. <laughs> Nice Daniel Johnson, 19 out of 50, gold paper. Yeah, Cleveland, are they just not hitting? What's going on? 10 points behind? Give me that OT. Still seven, seven minutes left. Yeah, I will, Impractical Jokers. Give me the money. I absolutely will, as long as you give me the money for all these teams. And there's your autograph, J.B. Bukowskis. Thirty-eight out of one hundred and fifty on that one for the Astros. How much? Aaron Judge rookie auto for all of these? Yeah, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. All right, that's it, folks. JaspiesHobbyLand.com. Uh, that was Pick Your Team number one. Hobby Case Pick Your Team number one. The next one will be in the store. So check it out. And we'll see everybody next time. Bye-bye.